Today, our lesson is all about addition of fractions. But before that, let's answer this question, why do we need to learn fractions? Now, we need to learn fractions so that we can understand how fraction works and, and apply it in real-life situations. Now, how can we apply it in real-life situations? We use fractions when slicing foods like pizza, cakes, fruits, or even in baking and cooking. You may want to know what portion of a pool you need and also allocating your money. Now, what is fraction? A fraction is a number which can be written as the quotient of two whole numbers. This is an example of fraction 1 over 2 and 1 is the numerator which tells how many parts are taken from the whole and that's the fraction bar that separates the numerator from the denominator and 2 is the denominator that tells how many equal parts the whole is divided into. Now let's add similar fractions. When you say similar fractions, there are fractions that have the same denominators. In adding similar fractions, the steps are first you add the numerators, we have 2 plus 1, that is 3. Then we're done with the first step. Second step is copy the denominator, which is 5, and find its simplest form. So 3 and 5 has no common factor, therefore our answer is 3 fifths. Next, adding mixed similar fractions. When you say mixed fractions, that means there is a whole number and a fraction. So the steps are first is to add the whole numbers. We have 3 plus 4, that is 7. Add the numerators, which is 2 plus 2 is 4. Then, copy the denominator, which is the denominator is 8. Then, simplify to its lowest term. As you can see, 4 and 8 has still common factor. So, you may want to get its lowest term by using continuous division method. Then, get the factor of this 4 and 8. We have 2 common factor. So, 4 divided by 2 is 2. 8 divided by 2 is 4. There's still common between 2, 2 and 4, so you continue with the division. We have common within 2 and 4 is 2, so we have 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2. And there is no common between 1 and 2, aside from 1, then our answer is 1 half. Or 1 half. But don't forget, there's a whole number here, so you write... 7 and 1 half is the final answer. Next, adding similar fractions with regrouping. Regrouping is rearranging groups in place value to carry out an operation. So, the steps are, first, you add the numerators. We have 4 plus 5 is 9. And copy the denominator, which is 8. Now, as you can see, this is called an improper fraction. It is a fraction where the numerator is equal to or greater than the denominator. Next step is to change the fraction to mixed number. Now, an improper fraction can be reduced to a mixed number or a whole number by dividing the numerator by the denominator and writing the fractional part in lowest term. So, we have 9 divided by 8. That is 1. It's 8. There's a remainder 1. So we have our quotient is our new whole number and the remainder is our numerator. Then the divisor is our denominator or just copy the 8 here as a denominator. Then simplify to its lowest term. There is no common factor between 1 and 8 other than 1. Then this is our final answer. We regroup when our answer is in an improper fraction. Next is adding similar fractions with regrouping. We have here the steps. Add the numerators. We have 2 plus 2 is 4. Then, copy the denominator, which is 3. And add the whole number. Since this is a mixed number, we have 1 plus 2 is 3. Then, as you can see, 
the numerator is greater than the denominator, then we need to regroup by changing the fraction to proper fraction or mixed number. We have 4 and 3. Divide the numerator to the denominator. We have 1. This is 3, 1. So, 4 third is equal to 1 for our quotient. Numerator is 1 also for the remainder. And 3 as the divisor or the same denominator here. Now, this 1 and 1 third will be added to 3 since we have here a whole number. Then, our answer would be 3 plus 1, we have 4, then 1 third. 4 third is equal to 1 third, that's 1 and 1 third, that's why we add it to 3. And our final answer is 4 and 1 third. It's already in simplest form, then that's our final answer.